The Ministry of Health is tonight sounding an alarm over a reduction in vaccine uptake since the easing of COVID-19 containment measures. Whereas the announcement came as good news to many Kenyans, the Ministry of Health now says there is a drastic drop in the number of Kenyans taking the jab. As Emily Jabet reports, Dr. Willis Akwale, the chairperson of the National COVID-19 Vaccines Task Force, says the current trend could reverse gains made since the vaccination campaign began. The revision of COVID-19 protocols by the Ministry of Health was a shot in the arm for many. But now the number of Kenyans visiting vaccination centers to receive the all-important shot has dropped significantly. A case in point is Mombasa County, which has recorded up to a 50% reduction in the number of people taking up the jabs, with the county's chief officer, Health Polino Ginga, attributing it to the revised measures. Change of the population Natisa, hiyo ni kidogo sana. In normal circumstances huwa tunafanya chanjo more than 10,000 within that uh, that span. Kwa hivyo imepungua vilivyo. Kagwe's announcement last week brought a sigh of relief for many Kenyans, but Dr. Willis Ahwale, the chairperson of the National COVID-19 Vaccines Task Force, says the excitement may be short-lived if the current scenario is anything to go by. Wale ambao walikuwa wamefanya booking ya vaccination, wamefanya cancel, wali cancel. The measures that were announced on Friday by Cabinet Secretary Mtai Kagwe, the most important measure to take home was that you need to get vaccinated. Despite the cautious announcement by the ministry, some Kenyans have completely dropped the guard. Since the government said uh, it's not a must, we put on our masks. And uh, I think that's why people are relaxed to go for the vaccine because they feel they're already safe. We must realize that COVID-19 is a global pandemic. It is not only found in a few areas. So for us to talk about the end of COVID, it will mean that each and every country reports no cases. Hawali says the easing of the measures was informed by a prolonged low positivity rate, but warns that the country is not out of the hoods yet. I will give an analogy of the rainy season. If the rain season sets in and it doesn't rain one or two a few days or one week, that doesn't mean the rain season has ended. It could even come with a more force in future. Currently, there are 10 million doses of vaccine in the country. But Ahuale says if the current low turnout continues, Kenya risks losing millions of shillings if they do expire. If there's a low turnout, we have risk of a lot of wastages once the vials have been opened. We also have then the other risk of expiries. And now this is becoming more real than any other time. Uh, we are currently consolidating the returns from all the counties. So far, the country has vaccinated 17,210,648 people, with 7,938,884 being partially vaccinated, while 7,872,143 people fully vaccinated. 1,133,669 are those administered to teenagers between 15 and 17 years old. In the last 24 hours, only 27,920 people went for the job. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV.